The evolution of heavy music in America goes back much further than the explosion of Kiss in the 1970s. And if there's one style of early American music that was heavy for its time, it's surf music, especially the sound of the surf guitar. And I've been thinking back to the first guitar riff my dad ever played for me, and it was a surf guitar song by the legendary Dick Dale. And I remember loving it because it had this real intense sort of shredding vibe to it. So I'm wondering, what place does surf music have in the history of metal? I read the little write-up on Dick Dale here at the museum. One of the first things it says, father of heavy metal. That's what they called me. Critics would say his music sounds like t the metallic galloping of, of two trains coming and just crashing. I didn't consider myself a guitar player. I don't know what an augmented ninth or thirteenth is, and I don't care. I just bang on that thing, and I make it scream with pain or pleasure, and I get sounds of Mother Nature. I heard about a man called Leo Fender. He'd say, well, how come you, you got to play so loud? You're blowing up my amplifiers. And I said, well, because I'm playing at a place called the Rendezvous Ballroom, and I want my guitar and speaker to sound like Gene Krupa. So the Stratocaster was built with a thick body so that it would give it that fat sound. And I put thick strings on it, give it a fatter sound. Then Leo created the first 100 watt output transformer peaking 180 watts. To this day, that's never been matched. People's ears started, whoa, what, what is this? He took the guitar and, and turned it into a instrument, not just a, a, a small part of the music. He, he was able to do things on the guitar that nobody had ever seen before. Yeah. He had been playing on a wall of amps like Van Halen had. Heavy metal may have been 20 years earlier. 